What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Shakespeare. Keeping it a hundred. Y'all already know how we do here, man. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. Click that post notification bell. Make sure to like, share, and comment down below. Right now, we about to jump into a reaction. But first, I want to wish everybody a very happy and prosperous new year. Full of nothing but good health, a little bit of wealth, and a whole lot of happiness. Right now, we're gonna get into a reaction. We got your girl, the very heavily requested Diana and Kudinova. De Nova. Now, for those that might not know, I've tried posting Diana at least six or seven times. They always get globally blocked, flagged, and as an artist and a recording artist in the industry, I do not alter my videos. If I'm reacting to a singer, I'm not gonna alter her pitch, his pitch, what makes that person so unique. I'm not gonna alter it. Those blocks and permissions are taken away from you from a, for a reason. So I just go on to the next reaction. So we're gonna try to do this and I hope nothing gets blocked, flagged and all that stuff and you get to enjoy it along with me. That being said, right now we're gonna react, react to Diana and Kundinova and Brandon Stone covering what a wonderful world the new year cover without further ado hesitation and all that good stuff Diana Brandon it's on you <laughs> let's go oh I can't wait to hear this unique voice kill this song you know she's gonna kill this, right? Like, her voice is so unique and this is already such a unique song. Ah, oh, what a perfect song choice. Let's go! I see trees of green Woo! Red roses too Oh my god. I see them blue For me And I think to myself Kill it, kill it What a wonderful world Wow I see skies of blue And clouds of white The bright blessed day The dark sacred night Wow, she's so good, man. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Oh, God. So this arrangement, I love the arrangement that they went with on this. Like, I miss Diana's voice. You have to understand from a reactor's perspective, when you put in an hour or two hours of work per reaction, and you go to post it and you're not allowed to it's like globally blocked and nobody can see it when you do that eight times to the same artist it discourages you from wanting to react to that artist no matter how good that talent is because now you're putting in if, if this was a nine to five job for people almost two days over two days with a little bit of overtimes amount of work into it so i love the stripped down version of this i love the fact that it's just her and the piano and the showcase the the the, the showcase is solely on diana's remarkable beautiful voice i miss her perfect tones the the uniqueness of her voice the way she can hit to certain certain notes different than so many artists like she's got that recognizable voice nobody has a voice like diana we already know that but she has that recognizable voice that after the first song you've ever heard her sing when she sings you know it's her oh this woman's an international star so amazing Colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky. Girls on the faces of people going by. I see friendship 
and answer. So amazing. How do you do? Like only her and maybe one or two other artists, when they sing this song, they take a recognizable global song that everybody in every genre of music, every generation, know they know this song. Only a few artists can sing it and make it their own. They and we're only a minute and a half in. Really say, I love you. I hear babies cry. I watch them cry. I love this song so much. They learn much more. I ever know Wow And I think to myself What a wonderful world Yes, 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 yes bring, I, I gotta bring that back, man Like, I gotta I'm sorry, I know some of you like the pauses And me talking Some of you don't So I'm in, I, I am trying to keep it to a minimal here Nothing to myself. What a wonderful. She's making me sweat. So good, man. Ah. Oh, it's getting jazzy. It's getting jazzy. They're switching it up a little bit. I've never heard her scat before. She's showing, like I was already gonna say that she's showing elements I've never seen from her before. And she's doing a couple new like things with her voice that I've never heard before. But now she's scatting. Wow. Oh God. I didn't know she has that jazz element in her. That like Billie Holiday, Ella Fitzgerald lounge singer style in her. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky. Oh, her voice is so sick. Girls on the faces of people going by. Ah, God, man. They really say, I, I, I love you. I see trees of green. Wow, the arrangement. Red roses too. I see them blue for me and you. And I think to myself. The arrangement of this is amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Diana, Akundanova, and Brandon Stone on the piano, covering the Louis Armstrong Forever Timeless Classic. What a wonderful world. Now, a lot of you hit me up in the comments, especially on Instagram, because you don't want it to be public, saying, all your reactions are fake. and I call this portion of my channel Shakespeare Keeping It 100 because everything that you see on camera is 100% genuine. The arrangement of this was beautiful. The transitions from multiple styles of genres in this 
four minute, 20 second video was incredible. I've seen dozens and dozens of What a Wonderful World covers. And if you like this song, I think a lot of people have, but never have I seen it in the same song go from jazz to the original sort of sounding melody with a stripped down, a more stripped down version of it, but then jazzy and bluesy and poppy. Like there were so many different elements and she showed elements of her vocals that I didn't know she had. Well, we all know she's got a crazy register, but I just never heard her sing. I've never heard her scat. I've never heard her lounge sing style. Again, like Billie Holiday, Elif yeah, I might be a rapper. I might be a rapper and Hip hop might be my primary music, but I grew up in this industry with aunts and uncles being jazz lounge singers. Um, my father being a world renowned finger picking, plucking guitarist. My brother having the largest rock group in Toronto music history. My uncle sounding identical to Paul McCartney and essentially touring the globe um, with, a Beatle, with one of the largest Beatles tribute bands. So I understand music. I understand the elements of music. My whole family plays instruments. So when I listen to it and break it down, I actually can break it down and sort of know what I'm talking about. But the elements and things she's showing in this reaction are reasons why she separates herself from other people. It's one thing to have a unique voice. It's another thing to take a world globally recognized song and make it your own. Her voice in itself makes this cover and anything she's gonna sing her own. But to strip it down in a way where it's just you and a, and a piano and you're the focal point of this because you're the one with the voice, everybody's watching to hear you. Nothing against Brandon Stone, he's a great pianist, but we're here for Diana. And showing the different elements in her voice is why she's a star. Arranging this the way that it was and performing it the way that they did shows why she's a global phenom over other people's. Because there's a lot of people with amazing voices, but if you don't know what to do with it, you don't choose the right covers, you're just another needle in a haystack. This is showing, this is a prime example why Diana's a diamond in a rough and not a needle in a haystack. Y'all already know what it is, man. Y'all know how we do over here. We keep it a hundred. And for those haters, I'm not afraid to critique negatively. It's just my opinion on most of what you guys recommend is phenomenal. But when you recommend something to me, a live performance, and I see the artist as clear as day lip syncing, not knowing the words to their own song in the beginning of their career and stuff like that, I'm going to critique it negatively like crazy. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button, click that post notification bell, make sure to like, share, comment down below, man. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know artists, songs, things you want me to react to. I got you. I'll put it on the list. Everything we react to on this channel is what you requested. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you want me to react to. I'll put it on the list. I got you. It's your boy, Shakespeare. I'm keeping it 100, and I'm out. Peace.